Hello, welcome. We'll be creating this look today using products that I haven't used in a long time. So one might say forgotten products and I have a couple of new. I've been using them behind the scenes, but this will be the first time I'm using it on my channel in a video. So if you would like to see how I created this look in a little lock tour action, freshly washed locks, then keep on watching. I am in an extraordinary uplifted mood today due to many reasons, but bottom line, I'm in a, I'm in a state of gratitude an appreciation for the present and health, good health, just grateful. But I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are, day, night, morning. <laughs> just showered, washed my locks, and the way I did it, this is the second time I'm trying it this way. I tie both sides and just wash the roots and apply water to the roots and then I have it tied up again. There are two buns. Later on in this video I'll take it out but when I was getting dressed and all I had um, another cloth to kind of soak up the water dripping on my skin and then now I'm getting ready. I just have my little bandana around it. The only thing I have on my face right now is sunscreen. The Beauty of Josan Sunscreen SPF 50 and the Nesamirix Bar and Balm Powder in Universal. Things I'm using today, products that I haven't used in a long time. One could say forgotten, but I think for me it's not just forgotten. <laughs> I knew back of my mind they are there, but lately or the past few months, I've been focused on my Project Pan products, and occasionally I would reach into the rest of my beauty capsule to use something else, but majority of the time, I was just focused on my Project Pan products. So I went through my beauty capsule, pulled out things I haven't used recently, and then I have two new things newer things. I've used them already, but I'm going to show them here. I haven't used them on camera. This will be the first time using them on camera. It's the new Gucci Luminous Matte Blush in number 11, Intense Ruby. This was pure sentimental <laughs> reasons. My birthstone is ruby, so I also love the packaging. It's not as deep as I thought it would be from the promo pictures. Also, the shade is not as deep as the promo pics, but so far have been enjoying it. I have even used it as a lip shade multiple times. That's one of the reasons the name Gucci is kind of wearing off. Use my finger and dab it on my lips. And then the second thing that's new, Fenty, the gloss sticks, gloss balm stick in Riri. I have, is this spiced code? And I really enjoy it. So I decided to get the shade. I'm wearing it right now just slightly so my lips are not dry. I was planning on using it today, but we'll see towards the end of the video. If I change my mind, I might use this on my lips instead. I'm going to do my base Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint in T13 using, I haven't used this brush in a while too, Red Beauty brush. And I'll just dab a little bit. This might be 
be too much. I haven't used a lot of these. And as usual, I'm just applying most of it to the center of my face and then blend it out. For everyday looks, I don't really want full or even medium coverage. I just like a light, light to none. <laughs> but I love how this tint gives that overall slight evenness and blur. To my skin. I remember when I initially purchased it, started using it, I was trying different primers with it. I used a matte sunscreen and also a non-matte one to see what I prefer it with. I think I scratched myself right here. It's a little irritated. I love how it looks. It doesn't even look like I have much on. I was going to use this to further blend it in, but I like what it looks like. Kosas. I had this in a box. I usually have a box set aside to of things that I would like to pass on to my friends and families that are interested in it. I'm not going to blend it out. I was about to blend it out. Let me do my eyes using CoverGirl with Lockup. I've taken out the stopper, so there's a bunch of product coming out that I have access to. But I looked through the box recently. And I'm still experimenting with my under eyes. The dryness. But I wanted to use this concealer again. Also have not used the uh, Auric Glow Lust in Goldstone in a while. So I will apply a little bit of it too. I've been using it in addition to whatever concealer to have that hydrated look under my eyes. A light eyeshadow powder just to set my lid. I don't always do this, but 90, let's say 98% of the time I do set my primer before I start my eye look. Lisa Aldridge <laughs> Sorcery Eyeshadow Palette. I I think I want to use the shade. Gosh, I, I've been using Vega a lot. I'm going to use the shade Mage. It's a metallic. And maybe Troubadour. The shade as a liner. Using Divina Cosmetics 102 brush, Troubadour. I just looked at the time. I need to be out of here soonish. I will list everything I'm using below. I've had some viewers comment that they can't hear me, my volume when I'm talking. I'm just not used to speaking loudly, so when I'm talking, I can hear myself and I feel like it's adequate. And I understand. I'm thinking of getting a microphone. 
I had one and I just never used it and returned it. So I might do so again, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. But I'm not used to speaking loudly. So when I'm talking, I'm just applying it all hurriedly. When I'm talking and I remember, oh, I need to speak up, you might see a change <laughs> in volume. BK Beauty 211 with nothing on it. And the edges, I really don't want it to be a super dark look. And then with my finger, I'm going to go into Mage and lightly apply it all over my lid. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. I think I'm going to use mercurial just a little bit, a tasty waste of it in the middle. Oh. oh yes, beautiful. And I'll take a little bit of mage on the D102 and apply it a little bit lower lash if I seem like I'm hurrying I am <laughs> I am sometimes my best looks are my hurried looks trying to get to where I'm going out of the door I am also experimenting with shades that I currently am not reaching for. Let's see, I think that is it for the eyes. I'm experimenting with shades that I'm not currently reaching for. Using them in a way that's in my comfort zone. As in the Troubadour shade instead of applying it all over. I used it as a liner, used it in a smaller area, restricted it to a smaller area of my eyes, and then used Mage to kind of camouflage it where it's not too dark of a look. Ami Colet Skin Melt Loose Powder in Deep Medium. I haven't used this in a while. Using the Elf and Good Blush brush. Just a little bit. This is the only loose powder I currently have in my beauty capsule. I decluttered the rest once I used this up. I will, I'm hoping that I stop, stop purchasing loose powder. I prefer pressed powder. Even though I love how loose powder looks when I use it, especially with my puff, this is just easier for me to do. Use my brush. Bronzer. BB Beauty. Bronzer shade 04. I'll use the deeper shade.
and then going into the Gucci blush using BK Beauty 112 and that's the blush. I love the shade that it pulls when I buff it in versus when I stamp it. Just the matte brown eyeshadow as my brow powder. Some of the products I'm intentionally not letting you know what they are because you don't need to go out and purchase that particular product for what I'm using it for. Just use whatever you have already. So instead of telling you what eyeshadow I'm using, I'm just letting you know it's a matte brown, dark brown eyeshadow, I believe most of us have a version, some version of matte eyeshadow that will be satisfied with using as a brow powder. Valentino Copper Twilight. This is what it looks like. Using the same brush I used for my just lightly for my blush. Applying it lightly. This is a beautiful highlighter. I'm going to apply my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Riri. I can build it to a high opacity. I kind of do not want it to compete with my eye look. I think this is it for the look. I've been really enjoying using what I already have. It's wet, it's damp. Should I give you a little hair tour? <laughs> little baby one unraveled here, but I will retighten it later. This one still intact. Look at that curl. love it this is it I really love this eye look not having used these products for a while using them feels like that euphoric feeling of something new <laughs> so Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, if you have not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Thank you for being here, and I will see you in my next video.